Yeah, g'day. Just here with uh, Mark, uh, one of our most experienced uh, passive house builders and uh, construction with performance structurally insulated panels. I'm um, just going to run through a couple of questions with Mark and, and see what his point of views are of uh, dealing with it. So uh, Mark, you've been working with us for quite a while now. How do you find the working with a SIPS panel and, and building with pa passive house construction? Uh, it's quite an enjoyable role, um, it's definitely something different, not something that people can just walk into and pick up straight away. You, you've got some um, awesome uh, experience and especially right from, from day one um, in the pre-assembly stuff. From our point of view as a company you've certainly got some major efficiencies, I don't know, just give us a brief overview of, of what yeah, you've done yeah, there. Yeah, it's definitely the advantage of what we do with the pre-assembly is just the speed of construction. Um, being inside a nice warm dry workshop is always a positive sometimes when you're a builder uh, and yeah I think through the years of building we've definitely picked up a good pace of how fast we can produce and get panels stood up on site. Yeah, The process of building is a lot different to traditional yeah. with the lifts on site and um, working at heights and everything once we do the roof panels. So, so, you, so you're basically in the yard there putting them together yeah. um, ready to go on the truck and then do you want to just run us through the process after you've pre-assembled them and, and once you get onto site, what, what you do from there? So for pre-assembly, we'll make them up as large as we can to fit on a high ab truck. Um, it'll get delivered onto site early in the morning. We will run through with the safety meeting with all the guys and everyone involved. Um, and then from there, it's normally just a single day worth of lifting to get all external wall panels up. And as soon as all external wall panels are up, then we focus on internal frames, getting ready for the roof panels, which should have probably been pre-assembled as well and waiting at the yard for delivery. How long do they t you generally take to do the roof? Uh, roofs, roof can go a lot faster than the walls because you aren't normally dealing with window openings or door openings and things like that. So three days, three or four days I think on a standard SIPs build. And then um, I guess moving on from there and into the passive house stuff, obviously the next stage is getting the windows in. Um, do you want to just have a run through and talk about obviously installing the windows and then how you get that air tightness and, and taping the joins? And, and Yeah, so there's a couple different systems when it comes to installing the windows. Um, the use of Nutello wraps and tapes, um, obviously pushing for that air tightness as much as we can and the use of colour steel flashings just so the windows can be re reset into the wall line of the house just to help. It's pretty critical isn't it obviously yeah. you need to get that window in the middle of the insulation uh, yeah. 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 So once the walls are stood and the roof's on the main focus from then is probably just pushing for that air tightness with the tapes and the Nutello wraps or whatever other process is needed to reach it. So we really do focus and put a strong emphasis on all just focusing on where air leaks could possibly happen or yep. anything like along those well, What's some of the challenging ones we've found, I guess, as far as leaking areas that, that leak, run us through a few of those, I guess, with subbies and, and stuff as well? Um, yeah, it's just a matter of making sure that all subbies are aware of what we're trying to achieve with the build. Um, we deal with a lot of guys that seem to have picked up while working with us of what, what our role is and what specifically their role is. Um, for any external penetrations, things like that from when plumbers are needing to run pipes outside. Any other areas you can think of that we've had quite challenging to, for air tightness point of views? Um, sometimes it can be the steel structural elements in the building. Yeah, true. Um, just making sure that they aren't reaching to the outside of a building envelope. Make sure that we create a thermal break yeah. between the outside and the inside when yeah. steel is used. I think the strength of the SIPS panels can kind of limit the use of steel in a build. Just depending on. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's certainly what we're aiming for, isn't it? Is reduce that steel element of steel going into it uh, for that thermal bridging. Had an open day a while ago and had a barbecue outside and it was stinking cold outside and it was nice and warm in here. Really find the SIPS builds really interesting and it is quite challenging at time, but I guess that's all part of the game. I hey, know, that's awesome. Thanks very much, Mark. Cheers.